All right, guys, this is the Vitamix 5300. I just got it at Costco, but um, you guys can get it on Amazon for cheaper. I'll um, link it that below in the description. Uh, this is the unboxing. All right, guys. I got this, the base. This is a cookbook and uh, I don't know what you call this thing, but uh, that's it for the unboxing. So yeah, you guys get this. Um, make sure you guys get the Amazon link below, get it, save some money, get it cheaper on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm going to do a demo of the Vitamix 5300. It's the new low profile canister um, on the Vitamix body. This one doesn't have the presets, but it does have the on off and it has a pulse button and then it has the variable speed. The power button is down here. So you turn it on, you'll see the little blue light on your countertop. It's actually underneath, but it reflects on the counter. It has dull blades by design. Let me shut it off so I can show you. These blades are dull by design so that your blades never go dull because they actually pulverize the food with speeds of 240 miles per hour. They do not work like any other machine that you will own. The other machines have sharp blades and they get dull. When they get dull, your machine doesn't work very well. This machine will work the same today as it will in 10, 15 years from now. So you're going to really love this. Another great feature to this is the, the shatterproof plastic. It's made out of the same thing that airplane windows are made out of. So it's really great. It's PBA free so you don't have to worry about any chemicals in your juice. It's a whole foods juicer processor. I'm going to throw in a couple of whole oranges with the seeds. So we're juicing the whole thing and notice I left the pith on my orange. I want to leave that on there because that's full of nutrients. We could have left the peel on if you like the peel. It's up to you. I put some organic carrots in there and actually let me just show you really quick. If I wanted to um, chop in here, I could put some carrots in here, put the lid on, turn it on a low speed, oops, actually turn it on, and it will dice those carrots, and I could leave that run. that run and run and run and it's never going to turn my carrots into mush. It's giving me a nice chop every time and I don't know if you can see the chop in there. I'll put my hand in there and I'll show you. It did a nice dice on those for me and I could leave that run for 20 minutes and it will never chop them into mush unless I turn it up and then it will turn them into a puree that I would that I would like. So I'm going to throw my oranges back in there because so I'm going to make an orange beet carrot smoothie. And I'm going to take this, I have um, an orange beet that I cleaned very well. Um, I used a sprayer to get down in there. I also peeled mine a little bit because I don't like the taste of the outside, but you can leave it on if you want. The Vitamix is a very powerful machine. You don't need to worry about taking anything off that you don't want to. Sorry about the quality of this video. I'm going to put a squirt of agave in there, two squirts, about two tablespoons. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some ice in there. Now most machines cannot handle ice and that's what damages it and dulls it. I want to show you my ice. It's just regular ice. It's not crushed ice. This is regular old ice that you buy from any grocery store, gas station, whatever. 
And I like my drink kind of cold, so I'm going to put some ice in there, make it nice. I'm going to pop the lid on here. Sorry about it again, about the quality of the video. And I'm going to turn it to medium speed. This is this tamper is patented by design. Only Vitamix has it. And you can push down your hard fruits and vegetables. If I were just doing oranges, it would have actually taken that ice and that orange and just completely done it without this tamper. But I needed it because the beet was very hard, so I pushed it down. You can actually do avocado seeds in here um, if you wanted. So this is gonna this is gonna make everything go down in there. Sometimes you want things to be chunky, so you throw in your vegetables at the end. You can also make hot soup in here, and I can show you another demo of that later. And then you would just give it a pulse to leave stuff chunky. But right now I have two beautiful smoothies, and I just want to show you how absolutely smooth that is. You will not see a seed or a piece of green in there. You will not have to chew your smoothie. So I just made a Whole Foods fruit smoothie in a couple of minutes and I didn't really even have to prep any of my vegetables if I didn't want to go ahead and peel them. They were organic. I could have left them whole and it would have done just as good of a job if that's how I wanted it. It's an amazing machine. Cleanup is a snap. You just put a couple of cups of water in there with a drop of dish soap turn it on high, let it run for about four seconds, and rinse it out and you have a clean machine. Cheers.